Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. My lord, I cannot speak today. Today we are going to be making a classic XP farm here under the mansion. Or so I thought. I had difficulties with it to say the least. But, at least you have some Minecraft world tips as well. In between the last couple of episodes, I did a lot of grinding. What do, what do I mean by that? Well, you might notice this road now exists. This wasn't here in the previous part. And this exists. So this is another version of what we did over here. If you remember the previous villager, not trading, but villager selling hut here. I made another version over here just so we had a little bit more uh, stuff going on over here. And while doing that, I also extended the road that leads over to here. So now, it even goes to here. Plus, we just decorated the place up. Also, I experimented with um, custom trees. Yeah, it, uh, it's, mm, it's not bad per se I could do better I'm gonna leave it here just so it's like oh this is my first little thing here but yeah it's pretty ugly and finally the the grind portion of it was that I went uh, mining off camera for 45 minutes I was able to get to 30 levels of experience from that mining trip and from that, we were able to upgrade our sword tremendously. We got a brand new efficiency, uh, efficiency four unbreaking three in silk touch, silk freaking touch. We've been looking for, we're been trying to get that for the longest time. We obviously already had that from the last episode. We also got an efficiency four um, a fortune three. So that means this guy can be retired, which is weird saying because we've had this guy for the longest time. Also, if you if you can tell, I've kind of uh, there's a lot of copper. There's an absolute tremendous amount of copper. Yeah, here is the other forty. I have already mined up of the oxidized copper. Yeah, eventually I'm going to start a uh, project. I don't know if I want to do a statue, if I want to do something else. But it's going to involve oxidized copper, and we have a lot of it. And uh, another thing we have a lot of... Is iron! <laughs> like, oh, that's a lot. That's kind of a lot, but we just... Fortune... Two or three... With... <laughs> Oh my, Fortune 3 with those big massive iron veins that you can potentially find in those mines are absolutely insane. The amount you get, I should have recorded it. But, what are we doing in today's episode? Well, I'm going to tell you. Today we are going to be going in just... Also, if you've been enjoying all the content that's been coming to this channel consider subscribing it would really help me out the goal is to get to 1000 by the end of the year and we are on a tremendous pace to actually getting that number so if you could subscribe that would be wonderful also consider liking because liking always helps but right before we go and start on that XP farm I kind of want to do something so, you know, I've had this here for the longest of times. I want to... I, I want to... I want to make a fish pond. So, in here, this is going to be something where I'm just going to do straight up fish pond. Uh, decorate around it. These guys haven't shown they will come out of here. It will have to be a test. That's going to be a scary part is them, so I might fence it off before I add any fish in. But I'm going to work on this really quick. I'm going to get the materials. 
this is going to be quick for you and a long time for me. So, time to tune into Time Lapse FM. Because we're getting building, baby. Okay, now I'm going to work on the classic mob XP farm. So, where I want it, I want it to be where we have some kind of, like, say-so on where it can go in terms of how far it can go down. So, I think placing, let's see here, maybe we come into here and we have two chests here and it's somehow connected the back end or the bottom I think that's how we want to do it and we're gonna have it line up with this here since this is our kitchen area maybe it makes sense to grab our materials from this so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna be honest I don't know what I'm doing with the classic mob farm so I'm gonna watch a quick tutorial and I'll be back with you guys to discuss this project Okay, about forgetting to let you guys know, I'm officially starting the XP farm. But there's a problem. What is that problem, you may ask? Well, this farm is not working. I'm in a copy of my world, trying to figure out, in this world, why it's not working. I don't know why. Yes, obviously there is no prep doors in these square portions. I did it on purpose to see if it worked, and it's not. Please let me know down below if you know how to fix this. So, with this pond done, now I'm going to show you some building advice, or really just building techniques that I use to make some really cool builds. So, if you're trying to stick to your world and trying to stay into it for a long time, a great thing to do is to stick to one general theme. So, my theme went from this kind of Japanese kind of attempt it didn't go out well but there was another sub theme that I kept my world to and that was fantasy and I've been able to keep my world looking well because of this kind of fantasy-esque genre so with your building you it's best to keep in the fantasy look 
Because we get these, like, just majestic enchanting portals, this enchanting cave, and stuff like that. And then you have these just beautiful little areas. Like, we have that archway for our axolotls. This just weird behemoth, behemoth of a mansion. And it just allows... So, sticking to one theme just allows you to make your world just look a lot better, a lot cleaner... And a lot more put together. Another thing is to always have plans. For my world here, I always have a plan. This was planned out a while before it was built. A decent amount of what we had going on, like we had the pond over there, was planned. That is something that you should always do. Don't plan like, oh, I'm going to plan this and think of it ahead right before the episode. If you're trying to do these building projects, it's good to have a plan, but it's also good to have a big building project and a small building project. That is a really good thing as well. And another key of, oh, having a plan. This has been here for a while, and this is going to eventually be a brand new project in this world. And that's the hope with everything we have here. Like with this build our pond, and just everything here. It's good to have it planned, but it's also good as well to have some stuff that is on the fly. <gasps> like the sweet field. This was on the fly. I just came up with this just out of nowhere. The rock over there. The design for it was out of nowhere, and I think it helps to have sometimes, because for an artistic mind, you know, there's times where you don't have a plan and you can make a masterpiece, but there's also times where you do have a plan and you can make a masterpiece. So, you want to, like, balance those out, if you know what I mean. And then, the last concept, or the last kind of strategy that I have, at least for now, would be think of stuff that can fit your world, your strategy for the theme... But for the fantasy, like, or not fantasy, but for, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Within your theme that you're going for, go for wild concepts that you might have seen other people do or that you were coming up out of nowhere to do. Don't be afraid to do something you want to do because it could easily match your theme. So, like, if you want to see, like, okay, we have this nether portal here. Let's get rid of the dirt here and start making this kind of corrupted area. This is something that could work for the world, you know, for the world building, the world story. And that's what I'm trying, like, that's what you should go for. Because, like, oh, you're walking by. Oh, what is this? It seems like it's just becoming more and more infected the more you get close stuff like that I think is something where it's like oh for a storytelling perspective I think it's a really cool thing to do and you don't need to do this this is just me demonstrating what you can do this is something where this is like a minor but you can do something major like oh you have kind of grounded fantasy tropes well if you're Within the fantasy genre, screw it. You might as well build some freaking uh, islands in the sky. <laughs> uh, which, uh, <laughs> that is a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> but that's kind of the three, maybe four, uh, advice tips that I can give out for your world. And yes, I know I'm only on episode 19, but this is something that... These tips, these strategies is what I've been using to get to this point. And I think it would really help you guys grow in your worlds with these kind of strategies. I think it really would. So, in this episode, so the reason why you heard about me talking about building strategies instead of doing what my Twitter was saying that I was going to do, I was going to do a classic XP mob farm. Problem is, I wasn't able to get that classic XP mob farm to work. 
Also, I do see all those guys over there. I'm going to go fight him while I'm talking. But, right before we do, look what happens when I open this up and I throw a bow in. Yeah, so I just spent four hours of recording for basically absolutely nothing. But now we can at least go and grind a lot of XP. That is at least something we can do. Ha! You guys burn. Because I am the king at making you burn. That means we also can put our power to that we already have on our one of our other bows and some of the other stuff that we have. It can we we can really just make a really powerful bow now. So I will see you guys once I have enough levels. Cause it's gonna be a while. Why is it take why is there so much grinding? So much grinding and a lot of ooh ouch that's a that's a lot of uh, a lot of spots and hoi no hoi yeah 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 those are creepers I am staying away from those finally after another two hour grind we are now up to 30 levels let's see here where's our bow do we have another one just okay I'm gonna go grab another one <laughs> because we're about to get infinity, which basically means next episode, we finally get to defeat, defeat the Ender Dragon. Isn't that sick? So, we should have... Do we have another bow ready to go? So, I'm going to head back. We're going to go enchant that really quick, and I'll be with you at the end of the video. Oh, my! Power 3 and infinity! And now we just bring it to here. We combined... So it at least makes it brand new. But that is... Finally! We actually have a real bow. That is amazing. Now, I want to test something out. Any other good enchantments? No. Okay. Back in there you go. So, <laughs> finally. Finally! Ba! Ba! Bang! And we didn't use a single one. Let's go. <sighs> I have been recording this episode for way too long. So, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Consider liking the video. Liking always helps. And comment down below Infinity. Because Infinity taunted me today and wasted my time. I'll see you guys. For the Ender Dragon Battle next episode. See you guys then.